Hi everyone, this is Paul Schmutzler, and I'm here today with a tutorial on the new Red Giant Universe version 3.0. Universe is a set of plugins and generators and distortion engines, utilities, text generators and effects, motion graphics, animations, all that can be built right into Premiere Pro and After Effects. At $199 a year, you get basically 79 tools, and each of those tools has many presets already built into it, and they're all completely customizable if you don't like what you see there. I recently completed a very short video, but I wanted it to be really fast paced and high impact. So I used almost all universe effects for this project. Recently here in Knoxville, we had the Bassmaster Classic, which is like the Super Bowl of fishing. I'm not really into fishing, but apparently a lot of people are, because there were tens of thousands of people in Knoxville for this event. And whenever there's a big sporting event, there's gonna be a lot of vendors that do a lot of different projects locally for the companies that organize these events. The company that I work for in my day job did almost all of the outdoor signage for this event. So I did a little highlight reel showing all the signage we did. We didn't need to say what every single thing was. We just wanted to kind of show, look at the variety of things that we did for this customer. And these are the types of things that we can do. These are our capabilities. Since I had almost exclusively still photos of the signage, and signage is a static thing, I wanted to apply some really wild effects to make everything jump out and be a lot more interesting than normal. So before we get to the project itself, let's take a look at the new dashboard. The Red Giant Universe dashboard, which is on the right side of the screen here, is fantastic. Number one, it gives you a quick visual reference for what each effect basically does. And the great thing about these is they're not static. You just roll over with your mouse and you'll get an instant preview of exactly what it is. And then you can dive into each effect and see more specifically what they'll do. So that's pretty much the process that I went through when choosing which transitions and effects to use on this project. Now it's very short and a lot of you won't like this style, but I used a different effect in between almost every clip. And I used almost all transitions. I didn't use a lot of the effects like these light rays because I wanted the photos themselves to be fairly untouched because I needed them to accurately represent what we did and not to have something weird on top of it like film grain or light flares that would distract from the signage itself. So let's walk through the project a little bit here. At the beginning, I had just have some B-roll kind of setting things up. I have a brief description of what the project is and what this video entails. And it also has the company logo that pops up. I did use the logo motion effect from Red Giant Universe so that I can have the company's logo come on in a neat way. So let's show you how that works. So you can see everything animates in and out in an elegant way. Now the minimal captions right here, this is actually an essential graphics template that I'm using. And you can see the properties here. This is something that I downloaded from Adobe's stock library. So moving on through the project, after the little introduction there, the mood with the music primarily changes dramatically right away. So we get this really hard rock music that comes on and kind of sets the pace for the rest of this edit, which is less than a minute long. So the very first one I used here to go between the logos and the B-roll here to actually the first photo is the swish pan. So the swish pan effect is pretty simple. It's exactly what you would expect. Um, it is a swish pan that blurs the image from one clip to the next. And you can choose the direction. In this case, I've chosen a vertical direction. So it looks like this. All right, and then the next one I chose here is exposure blur. So it's basically kind of a flash, but it's a little bit slower than a flash. It's not like a, a quick flash. So it's more of a, a burn to white and then back. Okay. The third effect I went with is also an exposure blur, but a slightly different preset. So if I, again, if I choose preset here, it's going to pop these up. I can choose one to start with and then tweak those to what I want. The next one along here is the glitch transition, which I really like for a lot of uses because there's so many presets that they come built in with, which I'll show you here, but you can also tweak these again. You can choose the colors, you can choose the speed. There's so many ways to make it exactly what you want, but it's a really fun one I've used in other projects previously. So this is what that looks like. Okay. 
And again, these transitions are very quick and short because all the clips are gonna be tight. I just wanted to show the highlights. The next one I use is a channel blur, which blurs just one channel of color, essentially. Next to Channel Surf, which is one of the transitions that was added a version or two ago uh, when they really had a very 1980s and VHS theme that they wanted to bring in. Channel Surf is neat because it's a unique and very realistic analog looking effect. The next one I went with is the Half Light, which is kind of, I would say, like an Instagram-y type of transition. So it's very colorful and vibrant. And again, choose the colors you want, choose the direction it goes. There's so many ways to customize it. This is just what I used. Next is a flicker cut. Flicker cut is basically a flash to black repeatedly in quick succession. Next, I really love this one, the color mosaic. This one looks so cool. This one looks like it would have taken me an hour to build this by hand, but instead I can just choose the colors I want here, choose a color map, and again, just build it from a preset, which is essentially what I did here. So if I wanted to, to match these to say the company colors, or the Bassmaster Classics logo colors that are here, I could do that. The next one is very specific. It's a carousel transition. If it's kind of slow, you're gonna see exactly what it says here in between these frames. It's supposed to look like a slide projection, like a carousel, which is why it's called carousel. You cannot change the wording, but there are presets. This is the grungy preset which I went with, but you could easily change it just by doing this, and ba-bam, there you go, immediately updated. Next, I went back to the glitch transition, but I just chose a different preset, so you can't tell that it's the same thing. This is a similar transition to the carousel transition. Retrograde is sort of like a roll of film that's being uh, distorted or pulled past the gate. So the effect I used here at the end where the uh, company logo and website comes up over this uh, B-roll of the event when it began is Spectralicious. Spectralicious is a little easier to show than to explain. Uh, it's basically just kind of blobs of colors um, and it transitions from one to the other just like everything else. And I'll show you how that looks here. Okay, so at the end here, I've got two different options for the text. I've got this top option, which brings the website kind of in a swinging sign form from the top. That one I'm using the title motion effect from Universe. And there are presets again, already built in for however you want it to come on. Some include blur already set up, some don't. I used a simple one here at the top. I think it was the flip down, yeah. So I'll show you how that looks now. So as you can see, it kind of swings as if it's hinged on the top and slowly swings to a stop. My other option was to go with my original graphic here, which is where the website comes in using the same template that I used for the title graphic. So both are interesting. It just depends on your personal preference. Now, the other nice thing about Universe is it has a lot of new title effects. So if you go under text, you'll find some of these newer ones. These are Hacker text, which as you can see, makes a bunch of kind of random characters and then ultimately your final text will come on screen. There's screen text, which is like an old school terminal effect. So it can write on text like a computer, much easier than trying to do something like that in After Effects. And then there's text title, which is sort of a falling text on the screen effect. Think like the matrix. And then there's type on effects, which there's similar things in After Effects, but this one has a lot of presets built in with colors and glow that will make it easier to make the titles a lot more creative rather than just one letter at a time appearing on the screen. With the new Universe version 3, you get the dashboard both in Premiere Pro and After Effects. So you can work with the same types of things in both programs, depending on your preference. The nice thing is that it's uniform. It doesn't matter whether you're in Premiere Pro or After Effects, you can have essentially the same experience and the same workflow. Now, some of these things, most people will be more comfortable doing in After Effects just because of the nature of other things they're doing with their video projects at the same time. For me, since I used almost exclusively transitions or basic animations, I was able to do everything in Premiere Pro and not have to work in two different applications, saving me lots of time. And you want to know one other beautiful thing about Universe? 
all the effects and transitions that I've gone through so far work pretty much perfectly, even with a vertical video. For those of you other unfortunate folks out there like me who have just started to have to create professional video in vertical formats for things like Instagram, well, don't worry about it. Universe will take care of it. So here's an example of the same timeline that I edited for the normal horizontal version in a vertical format with Universe effects. And that's an overview and a tutorial of what's new in Universe version 3.0 from Red Giant. It's a plugin set that I recommend having been a user for several years. It's an excellent value at only $200 a year, and it can greatly increase the efficiency of your workflow and post-production. Mm -hmm.